And good afternoon from IndianaWeatherOnline.com. Brandon Redman here with you for a quick weather update on our winter storm and ice storm that's going to affect much of Indiana tonight and into the day tomorrow. We do have an ice storm warning that's in effect for much of central Indiana. And let's take a look at our winter weather advisory and warning map. We have that ice storm warning which goes from Terre Haute, Indianapolis up towards the Fishers, Muncie, Newcastle, Anderson, and Winchester area. That's in effect from today through tomorrow morning. We have winter weather advisories in effect just north of there from Lafayette over to Kokomo, Marion and Portland up towards the Decatur area and northwestern Ohio, including Van Wert and Salina. Those areas are going to see two to three inches of snow and maybe some sleet, also a little bit of freezing rain. A winter weather advisory in effect for parts of south central Indiana, including Bloomington over towards Greensburg. Those areas could see some freezing rain, not as much as the ice storm warning areas, but enough that it's going to make roadways slick. And then we have a freezing rain advisory in effect for southern Indiana from Evansville over towards Louisville. And I believe that freezing rain advisory might get canceled. Temperatures in far southern Indiana have warmed up above freezing and into the middle to upper 30s. In fact, I was just looking up forecast guidance, and it looks like areas south of Bloomington will stay at or above freezing for the rest of the day. From Bloomington northward, though, we do expect temperatures to stay in the lower 30s and actually fall this afternoon. As the precipitation starts to fall, we'll get some evaporational cooling, which will drop temperatures into the 28 to 30 degree range. And that's why we're expecting that ice buildup. So here's our freezing rain forecast. We're expecting anywhere from 2 to 4 tenths of an inch of freezing rain from Terre Haute over towards Indianapolis, Muncie, and Richmond. Also expecting that to extend into western Ohio, including parts of Dart County. Farther to the south from Seymour, Bloomington, and Greensburg could pick up a tenth or two tenths of an inch of freezing rain, probably closer to a tenth with those warmer temperatures. And I do expect some of these areas, especially south of Bloomington and Greensburg, to transition into some plain rain by this evening and overnight tonight as temperatures warm above freezing. Taking a look at our snowfall forecast, we are expecting snowfall across parts of northern and north central Indiana. Despite the fact that there are no advisories in place, we still expect two to four inches of snow from Rensselaer and Hammond over towards Decatur, Fort Wayne, and Angola. Maybe a little bit of sleet and freezing rain mixed in with that. Then farther south, Lafayette, Muncie, Portland, Salina, you'll pick up an inch or two of rain of snow excuse me, after the freezing rain and sleet is over. So as we take a look at our future cast radar, by 6 o'clock p.m., freezing rain affecting much of central Indiana, mainly from Bloomington and Vincennes, Greensburg, northward. And those areas are going to see temperatures at or below freezing with freezing rain and very slick conditions with ice buildup very quickly this evening. And that will continue overnight tonight and into the day on Monday. We're expecting a very nasty morning commute on Monday. Power outages are definitely a possibility. And if you take a look at future cast temperatures, 31 at Indianapolis, 29 in Anderson and Muncie, 30 down in Rushville, and 30 at Bloomington. And the surface temperatures with the cold air that we've seen over the last several weeks will be a couple degrees colder than that. That's going to allow for ice buildup to quickly form and definitely cause some problems across the area. So power outage is definitely a possibility. Make sure you're prepared. Have non-perishable food, flashlights, and extra batteries. Make sure your cell phone is completely charged and you have a battery-operated radio. Fill spare containers with water for washing and have a supply of bottled drinking water. And take your ice scraper out of your car. If your car becomes trapped in ice, you don't want your ice scraper to be inside of it. Also, make sure you download the new Indiana Weather Online app. It's available on the Google Play Store. Just search Indiana Weather Online, and it's hopefully will be released on the Amazon and Apple Store within the next day or two. We'll keep you updated on that. Stay tuned to IndianaWeatherOnline.com. We'll have updates for you throughout the day on the ice and the winter storm situation. Stay tuned to our Facebook page, Twitter, our website, and, of course, our mobile app, and we'll keep you updated.